Apple released the biggest update probably ever to smartphone video. We have ProRes 10-bit 422. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna figure out, is it worth the hype? Should you be using ProRes? And can you see the difference? downsides is it's only 4k up to 30 frames per second if you want 60 you go down to 1080 but I'm curious is ProRes 1080 60 better than 4k 60 and non ProRes we'll test you're gonna go iPhone only oh. <laughs> you still need some practice but iPhone only uh, ProRes yeah but I just gotta get an iPhone 13 first <laughs> I want iPhone 11 you need a little bit of an upgrade there Santa Claus iPhone 13 this might be worth it that's true So all of the cameras, including the front-facing camera, can do ProRes, which is really nice. And it's really easy to get. Just do the update, go into the camera app settings, turn on the little ProRes switch, and then when you go in the camera app, you now have this option for ProRes. And really easy to turn off and on. And after looking at the footage, you can see a difference. I think probably the biggest difference is this, like, Comparison between the ProRes footage being more detailed and the non-ProRes just kind of being like sharpened. For example, if you look at this basketball shot in the trees, if we zoom in at 200%, you can really see how the normal Kodak is basically just like complete mush in the trees. Whereas the ProRes has some pretty nice detail in there actually. And detail in the end is way better than sharpness. And I think that's really what makes the image look much better to me. It has like this overall feel of just not being so harsh and over sharpened. It's just a little bit more natural. The colors also look better, especially skin tones have a little bit more life to them. That's how I would describe it. A little bit more saturated, but I just feel like because there's more colors, it feels a little bit more real, looks better. Low light noise, I'd say it's a little bit better in ProRes also. We didn't do a ton of tests, but looks like it's a little bit better. Not a huge difference there. And I think maybe a tiny bit more dynamic range, but we already get so much dynamic range with iPhones that that part doesn't matter as much. For slow motion, 60 frames per second, I would say the 4K normal codec looks better than trying to do 1080 ProRes 60 frames per second. So if you want slow motion, ProRes is not the way to go right now. But I would say overall the image does look way more pleasing to the eye. It looks more natural in ProRes, which is just another notch in making the iPhones look way more professional in their video. Just they've come so far in the last few years. But it is subtle. When you actually start going in and pixel peeping, I think the biggest difference is this less artificial sharpening look and more detail, which is great. But at what cost? Nothing comes free. The answer is data, like insane amounts of data. It's actually about 20 times bigger file sizes for the ProRes. So for a 20 second clip, you're getting about 1.7 gigabytes worth of data, which is just gonna fill up your phone in like no time at all. So the question is, is this good? Is the ProRes worth using in the iPhone? 
Well, there are a few other things to consider. For example, the fact that it's 10-bit 422. So that's gonna be a lot easier and better to color grade with. It should handle it much better, not fall apart. So that's gonna be advantageous. The other thing is that no matter what editing program you're on, it's gonna work really smooth. So even though the data sizes might be really big, that doesn't mean that it's gonna be hard on your editing program. So if you're using Final Cut, works super fast. Even in Premiere, works really fast. Speaking of editing programs, I think these are like actual analog like dials for Final Cut. Thanks guys. A ProRes is super nice to edit with and that that is worth a lot. So if you can go straight from using your phone to just editing butter smooth, even on like not as powerful of a laptop. Uh, that's a big deal. Ooh, okay. These are these are finished candies and snacks. Oh my goodness, we have hit the mother load, as Kai would say. Cookies, chocolates, finished candies, salt and licorice doesn't get any better than this. Finn Goods, thank you for sending this. If you're looking for uh, the best chocolates in the world, best candies in the world, uh, check out Finn Goods, because uh, Finnish stuff is just, actually this is, if you don't know, this is chocolate with salty, spicy licorice in it. Crunchy bits. All you Finnish people, you, got, you guys know how good it is. Thanks guys. But the problem still is that data is, I think, way more than most people want to deal with. Now there is a fix to that actually. There are, if you didn't know, there are different flavors of pro <sighs> More Red Bull. We've been doing some late night edits, so uh, we've gone through some Red Bull. Thanks Red Bull. Uh, there are different flavors of ProRes, and so you can actually get, for example, ProRes 422LT, which is about half the data of the HQ, and I, I, I think you would be totally fine with that. I don't think you'd lose any quality or detail or anything like that. And you could probably even get away with ProRes 422 Proxy, which is a quarter of the data of the HQ. I really think that should have been the initial way to go with this, not ProRes HQ. I think that's like crazy overkill. But the nice thing is that Apple could just do an update and then you'd have different flavors of ProRes. So that would really change the game. And you can actually already do this in Filmic Pro. You have the option of changing the flavor of ProRes to use. But I don't know about you, I just always end up, sorry, I keep doing this. I always end up reverting back to the native app because when I'm using my iPhone for some sort of video stuff, it's because it's the most convenient camera to use and the most convenient way to film is just opening up the camera app and you're ready to go. So I would love to see those different flavors of ProRes straight in the camera app. Please, please Apple. Give us this. You've already given us so much, but just this little bit more. Yes, it's a licorice pipe that's breaking on me. So we got a great update on video for a smartphone. Is it as big as I thought? Not really. It definitely does make a difference. I've seen some really great examples out there, but I think for the most part, people probably won't be filming on ProRes. It's just a great sign of what's to come. I love all this technology. I love this candy. I love that things are going forwards and we're just getting more and more tools. I'm just pumped on it all. I can't wait for every camera out there to have ProRes. Uh, thank you, Apple, for putting ProRes in your smartphones. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy. Look at this bag of candy I got. All right, have a good one, guys. Oh, if you guys didn't, uh, make sure to do the giveaway. We're giving away five $500 gift cards to Amazon. Uh, I think there's still gonna be some time for you to do that, so. Check out the video on how to vlog. Okay, see you guys. Finn Goods, I got I gotta say another thing. This is like, I haven't even tried this one. This this Doomla was like my favorite chocolate as a kid. I'm just psyched. I've been missing all the finished candy. We went through our whole stash. We always buy like a ton of finished candy when we go to Finland. We've gone through it all, so this is great. Thanks.